Hello everyone, today's menu will be chicken and potato casserole. This is loaded with cheese, chicken, bacon, and potato for irresistible flavors. So if you're ready, let's get cooking. In the large pot, I'm going to add in um, chicken breast. And then I'm going to add in some water just to cover them. And then I'm also going to add in some salt. And then I'm going to turn it on to high and cook this until they are nice and tender and cooked through. In a large baking sheet with um, parchment paper, I'm going to um, add in the bacon. And then you can you know, go ahead and do this on a um, stove top too if you wish, but I'd rather just do it in the oven because it's quicker and faster. And no mess. Okay, and now I'm gonna pop this into an oven at 350 degree. I cooked the chicken for about 25 minutes and then um, I drained it and then I let it cool for about a good 10 minutes before shredding it. Um, you can go ahead and uh, use you know, leftover chicken or uh, rotisserie chicken. And then you don't need to shred it. You can um, cut it into um, smaller pieces. I just prefer um, shredding it. And then I'm just gonna use uh, two forks to shred it. Normally I will use a handheld mixer, make it easier and faster, but um, you know, sometimes I like to switch it up. You can use your hands, you can use forks, whatever your heart's desire. And then here I have some green onions and I'm just going to finally slice them. I love a lot of green onions. Okay. And then here I have the bacons and then I'm just going to uh, chop them up and crumble them up. And then I don't wanna chop them um, too small. I still want them to have some nice size bite to them. Just like this. Bowl, I have some hash brown dice and um, I did thaw them and then I'm going to add in some um, sour cream okay and along with some um, ranch seasoning I'm gonna throw the whole entire package in here and then some good old green onions and this is the white part from the green onions just the white parts and then some black pepper okay and then I'm just gonna give them all the good mix combine everything well and then if you wish you can go ahead and add um, other spices if you wish but for me this is perfect good here in my casserole dish I already greased the side and the bottom um, and then I'm going to um, add half of the potato mixture into the casserole dish and then I'm just going to kind of smooth it out a little bit and then I am going to do this um, two layers so I'm gonna make two layers of everything, okay? And then I'm going to add half of my bacon, just right on top. Okay, and then half of the shredded chicken. This looks delicious already, you guys. Okay. And then for the pickled jalapenos, um, I'm just going to sprinkle the whole thing. I'm not gonna do two layers. And then I'm going to add half of the 
shredded cheese and this is sharp shredded cheese I love sharp cheddar And then I'm going to go in with the rest of the potato. Just kind of smooth it out as best as you can. Doesn't got to be perfect. Okay. And then the rest of the bacons. Okay. And the rest of the chicken just all over and then lastly the cheese okay this is ready to go into the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the cheese is lightly brown and it's nice and bubbly Here is the end results of the chicken and potato casserole. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. The measurements are in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!